the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming holiday of Thanksgiving and some safe and practical ways you can continue to celebrate the holiday while being careful about COVID. So number one, we're going to always say it, wear a mask. Um, if you are around other people, wear a mask unless you're eating, but in between meals or in between courses or lacks, put the mask back on. Also remain six feet apart. Again, if you are gathering with other people, make sure your chairs are six feet apart, the tables are six feet apart. Um, ideally, the gathering would be outside, but as always, you wanna remain vigilant to wearing a mask and staying six feet apart. And it's gonna be extra important to wash your hands because if you are happening to get together with some people, you don't know where who everybody's been interacting with or what they've been doing and you just want to be extra careful and wash your hands in between meals and sanitize and disinfect service different surfaces the preferred way of celebrating thanksgiving this year is definitely celebrating virtually that can mean setting up a zoom date or a facetime call with family and friends to share a meal together um i know a lot of us will be missing the face-to-face -face interaction, but the quicker we get control of COVID-19, the quicker we can have that family normal Thanksgiving that we're all used to. So like I said, if you are celebrating in person, there are some things that you'll need to abide by. So first of all, ideally it's gonna be outdoors. Thankfully, we live in Hawaii, the weather is nice. So you can have the meal outside instead of indoors. That reduces the chance and spread of germs. There is a mandate that we have to limit the number of guests to five. That's including members of our household. It has to be five total. So that means having different shifts of Thanksgiving or different days of multiple Thanksgivings. But either way, the maximum amount of people you can have for a gathering is five. If you do plan on getting together with family and friends, it is important that you guys all get maybe tested ahead of time. There's still free COVID testing going on in Waikiki every day this week, or if possible, you can quarantine ahead of time just to reduce your chances of exposure to the virus and spreading it to your loved ones. Some other ideas are you want to bring your own utensils and dishes. That way, everything remains clean, separate, and there's no chance of cross-contamination. It goes the same with food. Maybe you and your family or you bring your, will have your own dish, whether it's potluck style, or maybe you make it like bentos, but everyone should have individual meals, not buffet style. And again, just a reminder, you want to continually disinfect those common areas. If it's door handles, light switches, faucets, whatever it is that many people might come in contact with, you want to regularly disinfect during the meal. So, if you do decide to have a virtual Thanksgiving or forgo Thanksgiving this year, there's a lot of other things you can do to sort of celebrate the holiday and spend time with family and just um, remain healthy and safe during the holiday. Some of that is, we all know a good football game, you can watch it on TV. Um, you can use the time to do some online shopping. We know that the sales all start the Friday following Thanksgiving. You can play games together. You can find ways to volunteer, whether that's maybe picking up the phone and calling friends or loved ones or seniors and just checking in on them and making sure they're okay or dropping off food outside their house if they're unable to go to the store. These are just a few of the different ways that you can still have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And lastly, the big takeaway is stop the spread, save lives, and be thankful this year. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.